Hi, welcome back to the YouTube channel, An American Professor. We're going to pick back up with lesson two of our Matplotlib tutorial series. Last time we reached this first simple plot, we had changed the uh, plot style to be seaborn uh, white grid. And this is a simple line plot from negative 10 to 10. And some other things to note is that I've set the X label to be X and I've set the Y label to be F of X. Now we can start um, to look at different customizations we can apply to our plots and some different line styles we can use. We, we did use solid line here. See, I have the dash. R dash is code for red solid line. You'll understand more of these short codes later, but right now we're looking at the line style. So you can also make a dash line with a dash dash. You can have a dotted line with a colon and other options. Some other colors you could have picked. I could have used blue solid line. That would have been in parentheses or quotations B dash. And I could have picked from any of these colors. These are the short codes for the colors for our lines for our plots. From blue all the way down to white. And if you visit this link, you can learn more about colors from the matplotlib website. Now for diff putting different information on uh, your figure, your matplotlib figure, you may want to adjust the legend location. So that would be, see we define this label and later we call plt.legend. That puts our legend right here, f of x equals x. That's our function we're drawing or plotting here, we can specify using the loc keyword, any one of these codes zero through 10 to correspond to a location string. By default, when nothing is specified, matplotlib will try to find the best location for your legend so that the legend isn't bumping into or over top of the, the curves or the data, for example. If you need more manual tuning of the location of your legend, you can specify one of the values in this table or pass the string. The location can also be a two tuple, giving the coordinates of the lower left corner of the legend and the axis coordinates, in which case B box underscore two underscore ankle will be ignored. So let's code a multi-line plot with this new knowledge. Um, we, we now know how to do a single plot. Let's do a multi-line plot. So the first would be f of x equals x. Our second function, g of x, will be x squared. h of x will be x cubed. And we'll plot g of x with a blue dash line and h of x with the magenta dotted line. You can see magenta dotted, blue dashed, red solid also create label information which will go into our legend and I use the default legend settings. So let's see what that looks like when we run this cell. <clears throat> this is our plot output value with the same label information for y label and x label. But you can see the legends changed before it was put up here because that's where matplotlib thought it was best. And now with these three curves, f of x, g of x, and h of x, the legend has been moved to the bottom right-hand corner of our plot. You can extend this code to plotting any number of functions. I'm just showing three for a starter multi-line plot. Also, you can plot much more than just polynomial functions. You could plot sinusoids, any, any kind of function imaginable, discontinuous functions, so at this point, I think it'd be good for you to pause the video and create your own function and rerun the code I showed earlier and render you a multi-line plot and play around with the line styles and the colors for your lines. Some more customizations. You can add a grid by just calling plt.grid and you can pass true. Um, you can set the color, the line style, as I mentioned. You can also set the line width through another keyword argument to change the appearance of the grid. In this function, too, uh, you can 
specify how thick you want the grid lines. You can also change the axis limits as we've done here to zoom in on important ranges of your data or create tighter plots. So you can see I set the Y limit from negative four to positive four. And I set the X limits on this plot from negative two to positive two using this code, right? These code uh, lines of code right here. Now to save our gridded and crop multi-line plot, all you have to use is this function from the PLT sub package called plt.savefig. And you can save your figure in many different formats, such as PNG, PDF, JPEG, et cetera, with the format keyword argument. Um, DPI keyword argument can create, be used to create more dots per inch to create better, a better quality figure. Also, you can use the bbox underscore inches keyword argument to get a tight, to set a tight um, setting for your plot to remove unnecessary white space outside the figure. So here I create the figure and call the plotting code. And then I save the figure at the end with the name multi underscore line underscore plot dot PDF using 600 dots per inch with the output format of PDF. And I set the, the I wanna get rid of all white space. So I set tight for this keyword, last keyword argument, B box underscore inches. That's it for this video tutorial series on the second of possibly four matplotlib videos don't forget to hit that like and subscribe subscribe button to help the channel grow have a blessed day bye for now